Hey nerd family and welcome back to another video. This is another tasting video for you and we have one of our childhood favorite snacks for you. We're going to jump in and test it out. So today we have Dunkaroos. Now I tried to get these stickers off. Unfortunately it did not work out so you guys will have to use your imagination a little bit but there we have Dunkaroos. Now quick disclaimer I did order these off of Amazon and I believe they came from Canada, I think. I, I don't recall exactly, but I think when I looked it was Canada. I didn't really think about it when I ordered it. Um, they, they arrived uh, one day in, during the week. I was working. Uh, they sat outside in the Texas heat almost all day. And when I grabbed them off the doorstep, opened the box, you can kind of see through here. It looked like the frosting was not so edible. Um, I put it in the refrigerator for a little bit and then since then they've sat in our uh, in our pantry So hopefully it's still good. I don't really know uh, how the packaging and everything works and things like that, but We're gonna hope that it's still good from what we remember from our childhood. So We're gonna go in and, and check these out. You guys see the gray hairs. That's how old we are <laughs> All right guys, so we're gonna jump in and see Let's snap these apart here But I do remember having these as a kid. I wanted them all the time. I didn't always get them, but when I did have them, they were very yummy. I hope that uh, Canada is still making them the same as, uh, as they were made here back in the States. I know sometimes they change things, but when you split it apart there, of course you have your, uh, your cookie and your, your cream there, there down in the bottom. So we got that. So. We're going to go ahead and open them up here. Man, I can't even open these as an adult. How did I open them as a kid? Don't mind dripping a little, but we're getting there. All right, we got it peeled off the cookie. I just got to get to the cream here without spilling the cookies all over the place. I don't know how I did this as a kid. As a child, crap. our parents must have opened these. <laughs> I don't know. The, the cream doesn't look very appetizing. It seems a little weird. I don't know if it's because it sat. Hopefully, uh, we don't get sick off of these. <laughs> but worst case scenario, we're in the bathroom. Um, my cookies did break a little bit, I think. But um, I honestly don't remember what the cookies used to look like. So I don't know if they're different shapes or, or not now. But you got some kind of hot air balloon with a... A letter D and a motorcycle, but I feel like as a child they were tinier. Like maybe each of these were separated I, and they were tinier. Now that you say that, I feel like I think they used to be the the kangaroo mascot. I feel like they used to be tiny little kangaroos. Oh uh, well, or it looks like one of mine does have a little kangaroo one at the bottom. But again, it's it's like one big long cookie, and I don't I don't feel like I remember it like that. I think they were tinier, and I feel like. The cream, like he said, might be from sitting out, but I feel like it was a lot creamier as a child. This just looks like regular icing. But this has also been uh, 20 years since we've had these, <laughs> so... Alright, let's go ahead and try it out. Yeah, definitely more of like an icing consistency. Mm -hmm. I think it used to be more dippable. Alright, definitely smells like a like a birthday cake kind of kind of thing going on, so... I'm nervous. You ready? Me too. <laughs> Oh, man. Mm -hmm. All right. I think the cream tastes like what I remember it to taste like. It, it tastes like a like a birthday cake. The cookie's a little stale, I think. Definitely. The cookie's stale. Um, the cream, like you said, tastes the same as what I remember. But, again, it could be from sitting out in the heat. The consistency of it seems a little bit thicker, like almost like a birthday cake icing when it used to be more of like a, you could dip into it and it was like liquidier. Yeah, it was definitely um, was thicker than what I remember. But it really. could be from sitting out and then we had to put them in the refrigerator and everything. It could have just changed the consistency of it, but the flavor is what I remember. It definitely brings back some memories though. Mm. Definitely. I remember eating these in Gushers all the time. Mm. I do wish we had some non-stale cookies, but <laughs> for being stale, 
they're they're actually not horrible. They're just a little a little softer than I would expect. And I mean, thinking about it, the cookie could be from putting it in the refrigerator too. I mean, mm -hmm. it was out in the heat, and then we put it in the refrigerator, and then took it back out. So. The cookies themselves might not have actually been stale when we got them, just like the icing. It all could have been because we we didn't anticipate it coming and it sat out in the heat for too long. Mm -hmm. Overall, I think they are what they are. And I think that uh, although they may possibly have altered a few things, I think it's pretty similar to what they used to be. So that's very good there. Will I buy them again? Maybe only as a... I don't want to call it a joke thing, but just to tell someone, hey, I got some Dunkaroos. I don't know if it's something I would constantly buy, especially because I don't think I really got them for that great of a price. I think I just was like, hey, I want to try them. And I just bought them at whatever price they were at. So if you guys want to try them, hop on Amazon, look for the Dunkaroos. I'm sure you'll find them. Just uh, I would advise to make sure you're at your home when they're when they're going to be getting there, just, just to make sure they don't happen like this. And who knows, maybe it has nothing to do with that. Maybe this is just how they are. But I think that's going to go ahead and do it. So if you guys enjoyed this video as much as we did making it, please give it a big thumbs up. Please make sure to leave any comments in the comment section down below. Also, make sure you share this video uh, across any social media platform you like. Uh, please make sure to check out our previous videos we'll have up on the screen here for you. Also, make sure to subscribe to our channel. You can subscribe right here. And until next time, guys. Stay nerdy.